Brothers and sisters, on this second Sunday of Ordinary Time, the Lord invites us to a counter-insurrection Sunday. Counter-insurrection Sunday. Why do we have to counter insurrection? And what kind of insurrection are we talking about today? I think that the very first way of understanding where insurrection has taken place is the second reading of today. The second reading of today says to us that you and I, we are the temples of the Holy Spirit, and these temples of the Holy Spirit that we are is under siege. And this temple is under siege through your activities, through my activities, through your inactivities, through my inactivities. And the very first instance that is given to us in the second reading of today is adultery fornication. In other words, the insurrection, the siege on the temple of God that you are, that I am, is sin. The sin of adultery, the sin of fornication. And why is it an insurrection? It's because we are taught our children are taught in schools, in their discussions with their friends, on social media, that it is okay. That is the insurrection. And you and I, we have to build up and mount up counter-insurrection. And that is why this Sunday is Counter-Insurrection Sunday. Now, let's go back to the first reading of today of this second Sunday of Ordinary Time, year B, 2021. The call of Samuel. Where was Samuel when he was called? He was in the temple of God. And when Samuel heard the call, when he heard his name, he took off in search of the high priest, of the priest Eli. And Eli said, I did not call you. He went back to the temple. This went on three times before it dawned on Eli that, wait a minute, this child Samuel is in the temple of God. He's in the presence of God. God wants to speak to him. And so Eli directs Samuel to the right channel, which is God. Eli says to him, when you hear the voice again, you say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. In other words, as a child, Samuel had no knowledge of God. Samuel was oblivious of the fact that he was in the temple of God, and that is where to meet God, not outside the temple of God. He went outside the temple of God three times before he was directed appropriately that in the temple of God, God speaks. And when God speaks, we listen. And when the voice came the fourth time, Samuel answers, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Our connectedness to God, our counter-insurrection is to remain in the temple of the Lord, to sanctify the temple of the Lord, to listen to the voice of the Lord within his temple and carry out his biddings. When we go to the gospel of today, a similar episode plays out slightly differently. It starts outside the temple and goes into the temple. John the Baptist with some of his disciples and then John the Baptist was telling them and that is the beauty of John the Baptist honesty. I am not the one you are looking for. I am not the Messiah. I just point out the Messiah. I prepare the way for the Messiah. And today John says, Behold the Lamb of God. He points out the temple of God. He points God out to those who were with him. And those who were with him left him and went for Jesus. And Jesus says to them, What are you searching for? And the response where do you live? And Jesus says to them, come and see. It is in the presence of God, in the company of Jesus Christ, in the temple of God. They had a taste of God, the presence of God, 
they heard God. And then Andrew left to go find his brother Peter and he brought his brother to Jesus. Counter-insurrection is to start from oneself, from one's family. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit, says Paul in the second reading of today. If you do not sanctify this temple, you are one of the insurrectionists. The first attack is the attack on ourselves. And the attack on ourselves starts from the attack and the destruction of the families from which we come. Andrew goes in search of his brother Peter and brings him to Jesus Christ. Peter gets even a promotion higher than that received by Andrew who went in search of his brother. The family as this center that protects and defends the temple of God. A member of the family discovers God in the person of Andrew. He goes home, brings his brother. He evangelizes his home first, evangelizes his family first. The insurrections we see, they begin from home. They begin from the self. When are you going to become like Andrew? When are you going to evangelize your home? When are you going to take the power of Christ in you to evangelize others around you? That is the counter-insurrectionism we are talking about. We need to be the temples of the Holy Spirit, defending that temple in ourselves and defending that temple in other people. Counter-insurrection is listening to the word of God. It's being like Samuel, trusting in this temple, trusting in the word of God. Yes, others could point us on the way, but we have to journey. We have to be on this path consciously. We have to search for the Lord. But there are so many who are leading us away from God. These are the insurgents. These are the insurrectionists. Everyone who points the way to salvation, who points the way to this temple of the Holy Spirit that we are, everyone who helps us to remain dedicated and consecrated and unpolluted temples of the Holy Spirit, these are the counter-insurrectionists. Counter these are those who help us to maintain the temples of the Holy Spirit that we are. So, stand up, go out there, find somebody to bring to Christ. Start from yourself. Stay away from the pollution of adultery and fornication. Stay away from the corruption of money, desire for influence and power. Seek God first, and every other thing will be added unto you. You are God's messenger to go to counter this world that leads us away from God. And as you do that, may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.